and creating a raised bed on a dry desert type or rocky terrain where you don't have much soil. Okay, now what I've done was I had to co piece that tree. It's an Arizona ash, it's a soft wood, and uh, hopefully it'll come back. But what happens is uh, you take you take your uh, you cut your logs in about six inch pieces and you lay them down right here. This is basically an improvised uh, hugoculture type system here. Okay. Now the logs are vertical, and the idea behind that is they'll absorb water. Water will go into those pores, whereas if you have your logs in there horizontal, they're not gonna they're not gonna grab much water. Not much moisture is gonna go in there. So you basically just have something filling up your bed. Eventually, these should rot. And another thing too is uh, the root system will be able to go in between these uh, these uh, logs. See that they'll be able to grow down deep. They'll be able to go deep into the into the raised bed. Whereas you know having logs like that is just going to block everything. And that's the situation I have over here on this huge culture bed I made. I've got a log up here that uh, right here. I mean it's not breaking down fast enough. So hopefully this improvised. I've never done it before. It's an experiment, but uh, there you have it water storage in a desert type environment I don't know if it'll work or not but uh, you can you can wait a couple weeks and uh, the bark will just separate from the uh, from the trunk or you know you can 